Hi, this is Paul again. I've got another video to show you. I'm calling this video Order in the Pine Cones and Four Color Philotaxis. Now, in June last summer, I came up with a Phi Spiral machine. Now, watch as this machine produces colored balls going around at 137.5. It's producing a wonderful five wing pattern. Now I've put a little bit more research into this in the last few months and what I found that I was getting an amazing results by doing polar arrays of this configuration. Now watch as I make a polar array five times at 72 degrees of this configuration. Now what's amazing about this as the balls are all turned around 72 degrees they form in a tightly formed string. Now I made a separate video showing what happens when I give it a 4 array or a 5 array, 6, 7, 8 and 9 array. But I guess the academics haven't showed much interest because it goes against chaos. Anyways, I played around with these new discoveries and started working on the geometry of a pineapple. Now what I've done here is that I've made 18 rings of 40 colored balls. Now the balls are red, yellow, purple, and I've left the cyan pair out. So by showing an array of five copies, that makes up 40 balls. Now the reason I left them cyan balls out is because you can see I can put hexagons into the configuration. So if you need any more information on this, I show you the name for YouTube. So now I'd like to move on a little bit. And I'm going to show you a very similar situation to give us the geometry of the 200 seeds for the strawberry. Now you can see the eight balls are in a similar pattern, but they shift one ball instead of two. Now I show how 40 seeds comes out of this configuration. So when I give these swirl assemblies of 40 seeds a five polar array, this is what we have. So we left with a 200 seed strawberry. I think I'd better show this in the proper color or some clever dick is gonna give me a thumbs down because I've got thumbs down for a perfect order that you cannot prove wrong. So okay, now we've got the pineapple and the strawberry. So now that it's fall, I checked underneath the pine tree and I found a couple of pine cones. So we'll take a look at this one in front. I have counted it in the zigzag and I come to 21. I'm calling them seeds, but it's probably the wrong name. I don't know much about this stuff. What's interesting too is that I found a couple of shorter ones. And when I made a similar count, it came to around 13. So that's another Fibonacci number. Okay, so now I've made a 3D model of the shape. And now we just need the rotational profile. Next job is to divide the profile into 23 segments. I say 23 because there's a dot on either end. Now after a bit of research, I realize I need a polar array of 32. Okay, we don't need them 32 curves anymore. So now we have 21 rings of 32 points. Okay, our next job is to copy colored balls to them points in the pattern that I show. Okay, this swirl goes from the point on the top to the point in the bottom with a swirl. Okay, the next job is to copy this swirl assembly eight times around 360 degrees. That's 45 degrees each time. So what we really have are 32 balls on each ring. Four colored balls eight times. Okay, when we've got all the eight arrays, I'm just going to keep the colored balls only. So now I put a separate animal of the curves, joining all the reds in both directions. And I think it's beginning to look like a real pine cone. Now if you look at the rhombus shape between the red balls, there are three balls vertical and five balls horizontal. That's Fibonacci numbers. 
So I think you can see that this type of four-color array in Philotaxis is very important. It could almost be important as the chaos theory. Now I showed earlier that this four-color system can be applied to the pineapple, the strawberry, and the pine cones. Maybe we are just looking at the tip of an iceberg, because in my earlier videos, I showed that a polar array could be made by making copies 45 degrees, 72 degrees, 60 degrees, seven-sided, four-sided, five-sided. What beats me, not one professor has made a comment in the last few months of showing these videos. Now I put an abstract in about the dual five vector system of order shown in Stonehenge. But this system was rejected by an English female academic. I'm beginning to think that the chaos theory has brainwashed everybody around the world for the last 60 years. In the last 10 years I've showed videos in 3D reality. They are not theories, they are reality. So how come a theory comes before 3D reality? I think we're being led down the garden path and there's nothing we can do about it. Anyways, for the few people that like my work, this is Paul saying thank you very much for watching my video.